सर्वेभ्यो नमस्कार जंत पलिंग प्रकरण एकादश भाग जनवरी मसल चतुर्दश दिनाक्षर सामगम्य महेश्वरा कृत्न व्याकरण प्रोक्त तस्म पाणीन ये नम वाक्यकार वरुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणीन सूत्रकार प्रणतस्म मुनी मुनी नमस्कृत तदुक्ति पिभा्य वैयाकरण सिद्धांत कौमुदीय विरच्य शब्द प्रक्रिया सामप्ता तत्र केचन विशेषाः सन्ति यथा पूर्वशब्दस्य जसि विभाषा भवति नांगसिन्योह स्मात्स्मिनो विकल्पेन भवतः इत्यादि रीत्या तत्सर्वं ज्ञातम् उदाहरणम् अग्रिमः शब्दः भवति निर्जरः आकारान्तः पुल्लिंगः निर्जरः शब्दः शब्दस्य विद्वत्तिः कथम् इति किञ्चित् पश्यामश्चेत् निष्क्रान्तः जरायाः जरायाह इति पञ्चमी विभक्तिः जरायाह निष्क्रान्तः इत्यर्थे निर् इति प्रादिः जरा शब्देन समस्यते कुगति प्रादयः इति सूत्रं प्रादि समासः तत्र वार्तिकं वर्तते निरादयः क्रान्ताद्यर्थे पञ्चम्या निर् इत्यादयः क्रान्तादिषु अर्थेषु पञ्चम्यन्तेन सह समस्यन्ते सह तत्पुरुषः इति वार्तिकस्य अर्थः तेन वार्तिकेन निर् इत्यस्मात् जरा इति पञ्चम्यन्तेन निर् वस्तुतः अलौकिक विग्रहवाक्यं भवति निर् सु जरा गसि तत्र सुबोधातु प्रातिपदिकयोः इत्यनेन सुप्रत्ययस्य लोपे निर् जरा इत्यस्ति ति आकारान्तस्य गोस्त्रियोरुपसर्जनस्य इत्यनेन ह्रस्वः उपसर्जनम् इत्र अप्रधानं भवति स्त्री प्रत्ययान्तम् पदम् यथा जरा इति स्त्री प्रत्ययान्तम् तच्च अत्र उपसर्जनम् the word jara is उपसर्जन ही है because the emphasis is on a person who has crossed jara or who has who is away from jara and not on jara right so jara यहाँ निष्क्रांत हाँ means a person who has gone away from old age oldness whatever so the प्रधान ही है is the निष्क्रांत हाँ and not the jara that is why the jara is उपसर्जन हाँ since it is an उपसर्जन हाँ the सूत्रा गोस्त्री और उपसर्जन से हम अंडर से जिसके से हरस्वा so it becomes nir jara that is our समस्त पदा compound word कहाँ था हाँ देवता हाँ इत्यर था हाँ अमरा निर्जरा देवास त्रिदशा विबुधासुरा हाँ इत्ते मरा कोशे निर्जरा हाँ नाम देवा हाँ इत्यर था हाँ निर्जरा इति समस्त पदम कृत्य धीर समासाश्च इति सूत्रे ना प्रातिपदिक सम्या हम रिमेम्बर दैट फॉर एनी एडिंग एनी ऑफ द सुप्रत्यास द बेसिक क्वालिफिकेशन इज दैट द वर्ड हैज़ टू कृतधिर समासाश्च समासत्वात् अस्य प्रातिपदिक सम्या भवति। ओके, there is a question here. What about उपसर्जनम् पूर्वम्? Okay, this is a question. This is actually related to समासास। There is actually two things which you refer to as उपसर्जना। One is what we call as the प्रथमानर्दिष्टम् समास उपसर्जनम्, and the other is general and अप्रधानम् उपसर्जनम्। so the उपसर्जनम् पूर्वम् applies only where it is प्रथमानर्दिष्टम् समास उपसर्जनम् in the समास शास्त्रा whatever word is given in प्रथमाभिभक्ति for example if you notice the वार्तिका here itself निरादयः पञ्चम्या समस्यन्ते निरादयः इति प्रथमा पञ्चम्या इति तृतीया so the निरादयः is the word in the समास विधायक शास्त्रा which is in प्रथमा so this gets the उपसर्जन सम्या and because of this upasarjana samya, the nir comes before jara. That is where we apply upasarjanam purvam. But the upasarjana which is used in gostri or upasarjana sya is not that. This is a different upasarjana. So the, uh, so the um, categorization is that for upasarjanam purvam, the upasarjana samya which is used is the one which is defined by Panini as prathama nirdishtam samasa upasarjanam. But the word upasarjana is also used in a different sense which has not been given by any sutra. That is, it is not a samya which is defined by a sutra, but it is a general term which means anything which is not pradhana in a samasa. 
So in any other sutra where Panini uses Upasarjanasya, he means the Apradhana, that which is not the prada, not Pradhana, that which is Gauna in a Samasa is called Upasarjana. So in Gostri or Upasarjanasya, it is that Upasarjana we take. So how do we decide which Upasarjana we have to use is Vyakhyana to Visheshya Pratipatihi by the Bhashya and other Vyakhyanas. So now coming back to Nirjara. Nirjara iti samastha padasya, krittadhita samasascha iti sutrena pratipadika samyaya bhavati. Pratipadika samyaya satya, soja samochashtabhyam bhis, nyebhyam bhis, nasibhyam bhis, nasosam yosupu. I really hope you all by hearted the sutra. Nirjara iti asma prathama vibhakta ekavajane vibhakshite su iti pratyaya kriyate. Su pratyaya ukarasya. Anunasikatvatu upadeshe ajanunasikaitu ityanena itsamya tasya lopaha iti lopaha nirjara su tasya sakarasya sasajusho ruhu padantasya sasya sajushabdasya cha ruhu syat ityanena ruttvam ru ityatrapi ukarasya upadeshe ajanunasikaitu ityanena itsamya lopascha nirjara ru kharvasanayo visarjaniyaha iti visargaha nirjara ha yatha ramaha tatha nirjara ha so the word Nirjara in Prathama Bhakti Ekavachana has the form like Rama Shabda. Okay, so there is nothing special about Prathama Bhakti Ekavachana. But what happens when we move on to the Divachana of Prathama Bhakti? Nirjara Au. Rama Au it is to say Vruddhareshi Ittanena Vruddhau Rama Au iti Rupam Bhavati. Atra Kim Bhavati? Iti Prashne. Jaraya Jarasanya Tarasyam. Iti Agrima Prashna. So, Sajasharuhu is 8 to 66. I thought I paid attention to it. Yeah, it is 8 to 66. Sorry, I will correct it. Okay. Jaraya Jarasanya Tarasyam. Iti Agrimam Sutram. Saptamadhyayasya Vidhiya Pade Ekadhika Shachatamam Sutram. Paratrayam Vidyate. Jaraya Ha Jaras Anya Tarasyam. Anya Tarasyam Ittisya Vikalpaha Ittyartha. Ashtana a vibhaktav, it is utrata vibhaktav, it is anvartate. Achi rarataha, it is utrata achi, it is anvartate. Achi vibhaktav, arthate ajada vibhaktav parataha. Angasya, there is another typo here, it is angasya, it is adhikaraha. So if you remember, one of the easiest adhikaras to remember, the angadhikara runs from 6-4 to 6-4-1 to 7-4 ending. So any sutra which comes in the 7th chapter comes under the angadhikara. So now, Kahartana Sutrasya, Jaraya Ha, Shashti Vibhakti Hi. Arta, Jara iti Angasya, Jaras iti Adesha Ha Bhavati, Jaras iti Prathama. Jara iti Shabdasya Sthane, Jaras iti Adesha Ha Bhavati, Kada Ajadav Vibhaktav. Vibhaktav Parataha, when followed by Vibhakti, Ajadav Vibhaktav. When followed by Vibhakti, which begins with an Ach. So any Vibhakti, what is Vibhakti? Vibhakti Shcha, Suptingam Vibhakti Samyam Staha. So the supanting pratyas are called vibhaktis. So when followed by a vibhakti which begins with an ach. So please remember always the ajadi or haladi is decided after removing the anubandha. For example, you have su, au, jas. Su is not ajadi. Au is ajadi, very obvious. But is jas ajadi or haladi? That is the question. If the jakara is there, we would consider it to be haladi. But uh, this always depends after we remove the anubandha. So just or us is also treated as an ajadi vibhakti. Au, as, a, a, as, as, e, all of those are considered to be ajadi vibhaktis. So whenever a word jara is followed by ajadi vibhakti, it gets an adesha called jaras optionally. Anya tarasya amitrasya vikalpena ityartha. Jara shabdasya jaras vasyat ajadav vibhaktav. Now this sutra tells jara shabdasya. And we have Nirjara Shabda. So can we apply the Sutra here? Question. Jara Shabda se Jara Sadesha Hauchate. Vayam to Dhanim Nirjara Shabdam Pathamaha. Nirjara iti tu na Jara Shabda. It's obviously different from Jara. But can we still apply the Sutra here? Tatra Eka Paribhasha Vidyate. Padanga Adhikare Tasya Cha Tadam Tasya Cha. Yena Vidyas Tadam Tasya Iti Uktam. Tasya Iva Prapancha Hayam. Padadhikare Anga Adhikare. Padadhikaraha, padasya, padatitya, adhikaraha asti, agre, ashtamadhyayetimande, 
तथा अत्र अंगाधिकार षाध्याय से चतुर्थ पादारभ्य सप्तमाध्याय पर्यत सो पदाधिकारे अंगाधिकारे तदंत अर्थात यस्य उक्त जराया विहित आदेश जरा शब्द से तदंत अर्थात निर्जर शब्द सो एनी कार्य विच हेज बीन टोल्ड इन द अंगाधिकार विल अप्लाई फॉर द वर्ड इट से आलो फॉर तदंत तदंत ऑलवेज मीन दट पर्टिक्युलर वर्ड इज एट द एंड ऑफ अमस लाइक इन निर्जर निष्क्रांत जराया जरांत इट इज नॉट जरा शब्द बै इट से बट सिंस इट एंड इन जरा दट आलो विल गेट द कार्य विच इज द जरस आदेश अनया पिभाषा पदांगाधिकारे तदंत पिभाषा Now, fine. So, which means that even nirjara shabda, if it is followed by an ajadi vibhakti, will get jaras adesha. Nirjara au itisthate, jaras adesha karaniya. Kasya sthane jaras adesha bhavati. Thi prashna. Jara itisya iri au pratyaha tadatu jaras adesha kasya bhavati. Anekal shit sarvasya. Adesha anekal bhavati. Athava shit bhavati chet sarva adesha bhavati. जनरल रूल फॉर डिसाइडिंग आदेश इज अनेदेश So, if the word were only jara, we would replace it entirely with jaras to get jarasau. Now, we, our word is nirjara. By, by using padanga adhikare tasya cha tadan tasya cha, we say that jaraya jarasanya tarasya will apply. The adesha here is also jaras and it is still anekal. By using anekal shit sarvasya, here also we would have to replace the entire nirjara with jaras. And we would end up with a form called jarasau. Which is obviously not correct. Nirjara shabda cannot have a form like jarasau. Anekalthvat sarvadeshe prapte yam apara paribhasha vidyate nirdishya manasya desha bhavanti. Iti paribhasha. Iri sute kinchita nirdishtam. Itha atra kim ucchate jarayaha jaras. Iti nirdishyate. Nirdishya manam nam ucharya manam. Tasyaiva sthane adesha bhavati. Iti paribhasha. So this Paribhasha tells that even if we are doing a Karya for Tadanta, the replacement will only be for that which has been directly indicated in the Sutra. Which means even in Nirjara, we replace only the Jara by Jaras and not the entire Nirjara by Jaras. Okay. So by using this Paribhasha, we get that in Nirjara, we have to replace Jara, Jarayaha is what has been told in the Sutra, Jara with Jaras. But we do not have jara in nirjara. We have only nirjara. Haraswakarantaha vidyate nirjara iti. Jara iti yaduktam sutre tattu nastyeva. Kim karaniya vidanin? Iti chetu. Tritiya paribhasha vidyate. Ekadesha vikrutasya ananyatvat. Puram yam paribhasha patita. Ekadesha vikrutam ananyavat. Iti paribhasha. If something has been altered in only a small part, that will behave like the original and will not be treated as something different. Eka desha vikritam. Eka desha ha nama kashtana bhaga ha. Kasminshit bhaga yadi vikrita ha. Tarhi sa ha ananyavat. Anyavat na bhavati. Sa eva bhavati. So if something has been altered in only part, then it is not treated as something else, but it is treated as the original word itself. What has happened in jara? It was jara initially. That is why I showed the nishpati. Nishkantaha jarayaha nir jara iti sthite. Jara shabdasya gostriyo rupasal janasya tenena hraswaha krataha. Jara shabdasya ekadeshaha artha dirghaha akaraha vikrataha. Hraswatvena vikrataha. Tathapi ayam jara ityeva svikriyate. So even if the jara has been shortened to jara, we still consider it as jara by ekadesha vikrata mananyavat. So, if you notice that we have used three paribhashas here, this itself is one clear example of how important paribhashas are. Even if we have just the sutras, if we do not know how to interpret the sutra, we cannot get the right forms. 
Okay, so now we have nirjara. First thing we can apply jaraya jara sanyatarasyam because of padanga adhikare tasyacha chalantasyacha. And even in nirjara shabda we replace only jara because of nirdisha manasya adesha bhavanti. And even if we do not hear the entire jara, we treat the jara itself as jara because of ekadesha vikruta mananyavati. So using all these, what do we do? Nirjara au atisthite, nirjaras au. Jara ityasya sthane, jaras ityadesha bhavati. Jaraya jarasanya tarasyam iti sutrena. Nirjaras au. Nirjarasau. Iti ekam rupam. Nirjaraha nirjarasau. Jarayaha jaras anya tarasyam. Vikalpena adesha bhavati. Iti uktam. Adesha na bhavati chet kim bhavati. Jarasa adesha bhave. Nirjarau. Rudhirechi ityanena vrithau nirjarau. Rupadvayam. We have two forms for Prathama Vipakti Dvivachana. One is Nirjarasau and the other is Nirjarau. Clear? Any doubts? ओके क्या रहेगा सन्यासी रूपे शोपी तथा यत्र यत्र अजादी ही विभक्ति ही तत्र सर्वत्र विकल्प है ना जरा सादेश हाँ भवती निर्जरा जस तस्ते जैसी छुट्टू इतने ना जकार सेत सम्या लोपहा निर्जरा अस यम अजादी ही विभक्ति ही अत्र आपे जरा सादेश है निर्जरस अस तिभवती रुत्वे विसर्गे निर्जरा सहा निर्जरा निर्जरसाओ निर्जराओ निर्जरसा हा आदेशा भावे तो प्रथम योग पूर्व सवर्ण हा इतने न पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घा हा रुत्वम विसर्गा हा निर्जरा हा निर्जरा हा निर्जराओ निर्जरा हा इति रामशब्दव देकम रूपम भवति आपरम रूपम तो निर्जरसाओ निर्जरसा हा सो सिमिलरली व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन यू गो टू टा इट्स � निर्जरा हाँ निर्जरा साऊ निर्जरा हो निर्जरा सहा निर्जरा हाँ हे निर्जरा हे निर्जरा साऊ हे निर्जरा हो हे निर्जरा सहा हे निर्जरा हाँ निर्जरा सम निर्जरम निर्जरा साऊ निर्जरा हो निर्जरा सहा निर्जरा न निर्जरा आ इत्यस्ति अतः किम करनीयम जी प्रश्न हाँ तांग सिंह साम इनात्सया हाँ इतने ना इनादेश ह प्रत्येक स्थाने इना इत्यादेश हम भवते अथवा जराया जरसन्यत रस्यम इतने ना प्रकृते है जरसाहादेश हा करनी होगा। Should we replace the प्रत्यय with the आदेश first or should we replace the प्रकृति with जरस do the आदेश for प्रकृति is the question. There is a difference. I mean, if we do the इना आदेश first, say नेत जरा and इना and still it is ajadi and we might do the jara as a rasanyatarasyam later. But if we do jara jara sadesha first, it becomes nirjaras a, then we cannot do tanga singasam inatsya, because it is not adanta. Adanta adanga tadina minadaya. So there is a difference in the result if we apply the two. So this is vipratishetha, tulyabala virodha. Always vipratishethe paramkaryam can be applied only if there is a virodha. If it is a case that, I mean, either way it wouldn't matter, then we don't apply Vipratishethe Parankaryam. But here it does matter. Uh, if we do Tanga Singhasam Inatsyaha first, it would be a different result. If we do Jaraya Jarasanya Tarasyam first, that would be different. So now what we do we do first? Vipratishethe Parankaryam. Yada Virodha Bhavati Tulya Balayohu Sutra Yohu Tada Parankaryam Bhavati Atara Parasutram Bhavati Jaraya Jarasanya Tarasyam. सप्तम अध्याय से द्वितीय पाद वर्त इनादीन बाधिवा परवा जरस दीक्षित सो इन आनीथिंग सो ताधि परवा जरसादेश क्रियते आदौ निर्जरस आ जरसादेश इनादेश नई कैनाट डू इनादेश नौ बिकॉज इट इज नाट अदंत टांग प्लेज ओनली इफ द अंग इज ह्रस्वाकारा Now the anga is sakaranta, not rasvakaranta, so we cannot apply tanga singa saminatsya. So nirjarasa, iti rupam. Adesha bhavetu, tanga singa saminatsya, iti inadesha, nirjara ina, 
ಆದ್ ಗುಣ ಇತ್ಯನೇನ ಗುಣ ನಿರ್ಜರೆಯನ್ನ ರೇಫಸ್ಯ ಸತ್ವಾತ್ ಅಟ್ಕುಪಾಂಗ್ಯವಾಯಪಿ ಇತ್ಯನೇನತ್ವೆ ನಿರ್ಜರೆಯಣ ರೂಪದ್ವಯ ನಿರ್ಜರ ಸ ನಿರ್ಜರೆಯಣ ರೈಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ವೈ ಸೋ ವಿ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಇನ್ವೋಕ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯಾ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ದ ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಜನರಲಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ನಿತ್ಯ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಫ್ ದ ಪರತ್ವ ಇಸ್ ಭಂಗ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇಫ್ ಜರಾಯ ಜರಸನ ತರಸ್ಯಂ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬೀನ್ ದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಸೂತ್ರ then we would have gone on to nitya anitya to decide that jaraya jarasan antarasyam would apply but here what we require is jaraya jarasan antarasyam and it happens to be para so we do not have a problem with using uh, para vipratishetha that is why we do not move on to nitya or anitya we don't need it so the uttarottaram valiyaha is parath nityam balavat more than para the ಪೂರ್ವ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ವಿಲ್ ಓವರ್ ರೂಲ್ ಪರ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನಿತ್ಯ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ನಿರ್ಜರ ಸ ನಿರ್ಜರೇನ ಏವಮೇವ ನಿರ್ಜರ ಸೇ ನಿರ್ಜರಾಯ so in bhyam and bhis we cannot apply we do not apply the jarasadesha in uh, nge again we have a which is ajadi <coughs> so jarasadeshe krute nirjarase tadabhave nirjaraya evam eva panchami bhaktau nirjarasaha nirjarat pakshe haladau cha ramavat pakshe nama jarasadesha bhava pakshe yatta jarasadesha na bhavati tasmin pakshe ಹಲಾದೌ ವಿಭಕ್ತೌ ರಾಮಶಬ್ದವದ್ ರೂಪಿ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ನಿರ್ಜರ ಶಬ್ದ ಎತ್ರ ಹಲಾದಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದ ಅಜಾದಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ಹಲಾದಿ ಸೊ ದ ಸು ಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಭ್ಯಸ್ ಭಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸುಪ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೈವ್ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಹಲಾದಿ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಹಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಜಾದಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಜಾದಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ರಾಮ ಶಬ್ದ ಯಥ ನಿರ್ಜರೌ ನಿರ್ಜರಾ ನಿರ್ಜರಂ ನಿರ್ಜರೇಣ ನಿರ್ಜರಾಯ ನಿರ್ಜರಾತ್ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ಏಕಂ ರೂಪಂ ರಾಮಶಬ್ದವದ್ಭವತಿ ಅಜಾದಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತೌ ತು ಅಪರಮಿ ರೂಪಂ ಭವತಿ ಯತ್ರ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇನ್ ಅಜಾದಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನಿರ್ಜರಸೌ ನಿರ್ಜರೌ ನಿರ್ಜರಸ ನಿರ್ಜರಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಓಕೆ so there is a question which i wanted to raise myself but somebody asked uh, all this is fine what happens in nirjaraihi there is a question what is happening in nirjaraihi is you have nirjara bhis so at this stage we cannot apply jaraya jara sanyatrasyam because the vibhakti is not uh, hal, not ajadi ಕೆಂತು ಅಥೋ ಭಿಸ ಐಸ್ ಇತ್ಯನೇನ ಭಿಸಃ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಐಸ್ ಇತಿ ಆದೇಶ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ನಿರ್ಜರ ಐಸ್ ಇದಾನಿ ಜನಾಯ ಜರಸನ್ಯತರಸ್ಯಾಂ ಇತ್ಯನೇನ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಕರ್ತು ಶಕ್ಯತೆ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ನೌ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನೌ ದ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಹಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅಜಾದಿ ಸ್ಥಾನಿವದ ಆದೇಶೋ ನಲ್ ವಿಧೌ ಇತ್ಯನೇನ ಸ್ಥಾನಿವದ್ ಭಾವೇನ ಸ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿರೇವ ಕೆಂತು ಇದಾನಿ ಅಜಾದಿ ಸೊ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಕರ್ತು ಶಕ್ಯತೆ ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಇತಿ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಉತ್ತರ ದತ್ತೇನೈವ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ಲಕ್ಷಣೋ ವಿಧಿ ಅನಿಮಿತ್ತ ತದ್ವಿಘಾತ ಐಸಾದೇಶ ಕಥಂ ಕೃತ ಅದಂತಾದ್ ಅಂಗಾತ್ ಪರಸ್ಯ ಭಿಸಹಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಐಸಾದೇಶ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಯದಿ ಅಂಗಂ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಅಂಗಸ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ನಿಮಿತ್ತೀಕೃತ್ಯ ಐಸಾದೇಶ ಕೃತ ಇದೀಂ ಯದಿ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ತರ್ಹಿ ಅಂಗಸ ಅದಂತತ್ವ ಭಜ್ಯತೆ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ವಿಧಿ ಅನಿಮಿತ್ತ ತದ್ವಿಘಾತ ಕಿಂತು ಐಸಾದೇಶ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ವಿಭಾ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ಭಂಗ ಅರ್ಥಾತ್ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಸ್ವಯಂ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ನಿ ಸೊ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ವಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಅಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿರ್ಜರೈ ನಮಸ್ತೆ I am glad I found one place where Sannipata 
ತಕ್ಷಣ ಜನರಲಿ ವಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ they explains any part of the mission places where it does not apply they say it should have applied but it does not apply because of some reason but there are many places where it does apply and this is one of those okay so because of sanipata lakshana we do not do the jara sadesha okay so these are the actual forms according to siddhanta of the jara shabda okay now there is some problem somewhere else vritti karta vritti is actually it can be anything vritti is not a particular grantha vritti means the sutra artha is called a vritti there are many people who have written vritti for the sutras over the ages uh, sutra se artha bahu bhi likhita and we call all of them as vritti kara there are many of them but the most famous of uh, the vrittikaras are vamana and jayaditya who wrote the kashika okay. so generally when they say vrittikara or vrittikrita they mean the vamana or jayaditya vamana and jayaditya who wrote the kashika but it could be any other vrittikara also now dikshita says he puts forward an argument which has been given by some other vrittikaras vrittikrita to kimuktam iti whatever comes in quotes is what has been told by ವೃತ್ತಿಕಾರ ವೃತ್ತಿಕಾತ ಪೂರ್ವ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧೇನ ಇನಾತೋ ಕೃತೋ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾತ್ಯ ಜರಸಿ ನಿರ್ಜರಸಿ ನಿರ್ಜರಸಾತ್ ನೂ ನಿರ್ಜರಸ ನಿರ್ಜರಸ ಕೇಚಿತ್ ವೃತ್ತಿಕೃತ ಪೂರ್ವ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧೇನ ಇನಾತೋ ಕೃತೋ ಯರ್ಜರ ಆಸ್ತಿ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಪೂರ್ವ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧ ದ ಒನ್ ದ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪರ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧ ಪರಂ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಗ್ರೀಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಓವರ್ ರೂಲ್ ದ ಪರ ಸೂತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇರ್ ದ ಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ Uh, there are a uh, couple of articles say numachira tridvad bhave bhyonut purva pratishedhana etc is exactly specified that these are the cases where we can apply purva pratishedha okay but there are cases where even if there is a sutra is para we apply the purva sutra using a technique which is called purva pratishedha so now he say some people say ke chit some people say purva pratishedhana inato ho krutayo ho idani matra nirjara a iti sthite ಇನಾದೇಶ ಕರಣೀಯೋ ವಾ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಕರಣೀಯೋ ವಾ ಇ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಪರಮಿ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಬಾಧಿತ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧೇನ ಇನಾದೇಶ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ನಿರ್ಜರ ಇನ ಇದಿ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಚೇತ ಜರಾಯ ಜರಸನ್ಯತರಸ್ಯ ಎಸ್ ಇ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾ ಶುಡ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಇನಾದೇಶ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಅಂಗ ಬೀಗಿಂಗ್ ಅದಂತ ಅದಂತ ಅಂಗ ಟಾದೀನ ಇನಾದಯ ಸ್ಯು ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಅಂಗಮಾಶ್ರಿತ್ಯ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತ ಇನಾದೇಶ ತಸ್ಯ ವಿಘಾತ ತಸ್ಯ ವಿಘಾತಕರಸಾದೇಶ ಸ್ವಯಂ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ನೋತಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಸನಿಪಾತ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ಜರಸಾದೇಶ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಸನ್ನಿಪಾತ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾ ಅನಿತ್ಯತ್ವ ಆಶ್ರಿತ್ಯ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಲಿಯರ್ ದ ಸನಿಪಾತ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾ ನ ಸಾರ್ವತ್ರಿಕಿ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಸೊ ಸನಿಪಾತ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಜರಸಿ ಕೃತೆ ನೌ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಜರಸ್ ನಿರ್ಜರಸ್ ಇನ ಕೃತೆ ನಿರ್ಜರಸಿ ನೂಪಮೇವ ಪಂಚಮೀ ವಿಭಕ್ತ ಆತ್ ಆದೇಶ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ನಿರ್ಜರ ನಸಿ ಅಸಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ನಿರ್ಜರ ಆತ್ ನಿರ್ಜರಸ್ ಆತ್ ನಿರ್ಜರಸಾತ್ ಇೂಪೆ ನೂ ನಿರ್ಜರಸ ನಿರ್ಜರಸ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಡಿಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಪರ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧ ವಿ ಡಿಡ್ ಜರಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ ಆತ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಿರ್ಜರಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಿರ್ಜರ ಸಹ ಬಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೇ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯೂ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಲೆಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೂ ಇನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆತ್ ದ ಆದೇಶ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ವಿಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಸನಿಪಾತ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾ ಆಸ್ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಜರಸ್ ಆದೇಶ ಸೊ ವಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ತಥಾ ಭಿಸಿ ನಿರ್ಜರೈ ರೂಪಾಂತರ ಮುಕ್ತ ತದಾ ಕಂ ಭಿಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಆದೌ ಆದೇಶ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ಇದಿ ಸನಿಪಾತ ಪರಿಭಾಷಾ ಅನಿತ್ಯ ಅಂಗೀಕೃತ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಜರಸಾದೇಶೋ ಕ್ರಿಯತೆ ತದಾ ನಿರ್ಜರಸೈ ಅಪರಂ ರೂಪ ಸೊ 
So there will be two forms in bhis also as nirjara saihi and nirjaraihi. Tadanusari bhishta shashtheka vachane nirjarasya ityeva rupam. If we follow this logic, in shashti there will be only one form. Why? We have nirjara and us. We do the tanga sika saminatsyaha first. We have nirjara sya. Now this is not ajadi vibhakti. This is haladi. Since it is haladi, we cannot do jaras adesha. So we have only one form which is nirjarasya. Okay. So what? Uh, there are one, two, three, four cases where the rupas are different. Okay. Uh, let's go back to this. So one is in tritiya vibhakti. It will be nirjarasina and nirjarena. In uh, tritiya bahuvachana, it will be nirjarasaihi, nirjaraihi. In panchami vibhakti, it will be nirjarasat, nirjarat. In shashti vibhakti, it will be only nirjarasya. In four places, there is a difference between Dikshita's Mata or the Siddhanta Mata and the one which Vrtikkara said as Kechit. That is why it is Kechit. Only some people look at it. Etacha Bhashya Virudham. So Dikshita denies it with a single word saying it is Bhashya Virudha. How it is Bhashya Virudha is it has been explained in the Balamano Rama. But I think we uh, need not go there. There are some Pankthis in Bhashya where the Bhashyakara makes it clear that the, the form which he wants is only uh, the one which we saw, which is Nidjaraihi and uh, the others. This is application of some other sutras. So this whole argument which started with Rittikritatu and Svikritam is an alternative argument which is given by some people, but it is not accepted because it goes against the Bhashya. So Panini himself does not say anything about it. So our uh, Pramana is always Bhashyakara. So we go by what the Bhashyakara says. And what he says is against this. So the Siddhanta is Inadin Vadhitva Paratva Jarasa. We do the Jarasadesha first and then we do the Inadesh. Okay. So that's about the Nidjarashamda. The forms are what we saw in the previous slide. Any questions? Okay, so you come to the next Shabda, which is Pada Shabda, Akarantaha, Pulingaha, Pada Shabdaha. So the word Pada goes like Rama Shabda, Padaha, Padau, Padaha, He Pada, He Padau, He Padaha, Padam, Padau, Kopi Visheshaha, Nasti. Kintu Shas Prateye Parataha, Ashtana Visheshaha Vidyate, Paddan, Noma, Sun, Nishasan, Yushan, Doshan, Yakan, Chakan, Udan, Nasan, Chas Prabhatishu. One of the tongue twisters of grammar. Let's just see how to split. It's actually there are only two words. This is just a list of adeshas. Okay, there's nothing very special about the sutra. It's just a list. And to memorize the list, this is it has put it in a sutra form. Paradvayam. Padu Datu Nas Mas Hrutu Nish Asan Yushan Doshan Yakan Shakan Udan Asan. Ittekam padam samahara dvandvaha ete adeshaha bhavanti shas prabhutishu from shas and onwards. So after shas, starting from shas, whatever the vibhakti, these words will be the adesha. And it's very weird because Panini does not say for what. If you remember the previous sutra, what did he say? Jarayaha jaras. The word jara will get jaras. Here also he should have mentioned something. For these words, these will be the adesha. Then we could have applied Sarupana Meka Shesha and got the, sorry, uh, Yatha Sankhya Maladesha Samana and got that uh, this is the Adesha for this. But Pranini does not mention the Sthani. He mentions only the Adesha. So how do we get the Sthani? Here is where we use the Artha Sadrasya. Uh, we know Prayoga. In Prayoga where are these used? And what is the word which is similar to it in both Artha and Anupurvi? And we decide. So, Dikshita Hachanti Sutra Arthe, Pada, Danta, Nasika, Masa, Hridaya, Nisha, Asriz, Yusha, Doshu, Yakrit, Shakrit, Udaka, Asya, Esham, Paradayaha, Adesha, Hasihu, Shasadau, Vah, Uttyartaha. 
what is anupurvi anupurvi is the letters like pada the anupurvi is pakara akara dakara akara ha and for pada the anupurvi is pakara akara dakara ha so the anupurvi is just the sequence of letters what we have in any let uh, in any word say so why i meant to say is the pada shabda in prayoga it is used for foot so can we say pada is the adesha for charana shabda because uh, pada and charana mean the same no when we are treating the adesha we treat take both the meaning and also the anupurvi that is the letter should be the same at least similar that is why we decide that pada is the adesha for pada dat is the adesha for danta okay so there is both similarity in meaning and also in the sequence of letters arrangement of letters okay so now so before we go to this uh, in this padanomas there are lots of sandhis so this is just a homework just uh, i want you to to work out i've already given the split and also the combined thing so what are the sandhi sutras which apply in this word in this sutra in the sutra itself when we are splitting the words what are all the sandhis which have happened so please work out how many sandhi sutras apply here and we'll discuss it next class so now for these words for pada danta nasika etc we have adeshas as pad dat nas etc okay uh, okay there is a question will each entity in the pad cheda get pad samya yes this is a <coughs> samasa samahara dwanda so each of this is treated as a word okay it has a pad samya now let's go to the first one which says pad इति आकारांतस्य पद इत्यादेशः भवति शसादौ शस इत्यारभ्य विभक्तिषु वा विकल्पेन भवति इत्यर्थः हा इदानीम एतेषाम एतेष आदेशाः इति उक्तम् यत्तु आसन शब्दस्य आसन आदेश आसन शब्दस्य सॉरी देयर इज अ टाइपो हियर इट शुड बी आसन शब्दस्य आसन आदेशः इति काशिकायाम उक्तम् तत् प्रामादिकम् ही सेज what he gave the sthanis as pada danta nasika etc the last word is given is asya and there is an asan here so asya ityasya asan adeshah iti dikshitah vadanti kashikayam tu asana shabdasya asan adeshah iti uktam the kashikakara says that asan is an adeshah for the word asana and not asya dikshitah says that pramadikam that is wrong why as i told we do not just see the anupurvi we also consider the meaning now we have to see what is the meaning of asan where has the word asan be used and in what meaning there is one in the veda itself uh, uh, in the veda bhashya he says asanyam pranam muchuh we have asan here asani bhavah asanyah that which arises in the asan is called prana which is the breath the breath comes from the mouth that is asya and not from asana okay the question here is this asya shab asan adesha is it an adesha for asya shabda or asana shabda the word meaning of asya is the mouth whereas the meaning for asana is a seat so which of these is asan and adesha for is a question now the where do we have the prayoga of asan adesha if we see we see a prayoga which says asanyam prana muchuh that which is born in the mouth is called prana in the asan is called prana so the meaning here is very obvious that it means asya bhavam prana arises from the asya that is why asan is an adesha for asya and not asana what the kashikakara has said is wrong that pramadikam iti dikshite hi uchyate let's go to the pada shabda pada ityasmat shas pratyeha kriyate पद्धनोमा जितने हैं ना पद इतने आदेश हाँ पद अस रुत्वे विसर्गे पदा हा इति एकम रूपम the first form if we do the पदा आदेशा is पदा हा पादम पादाउ पदा हा आदेशा भावे इधर अभी विकल्पेना यम आदेश हाँ आदेशा भावे प्रथमयोग पूर्व सवर्ण हाँ इतने हैं ना पूर्व सवर्ण दीर्घ है तस्मात् छसोन अपुम्सी इतने हैं ना नत्वे पादान so one form is like Raman, the other form is with Padadesha, Padaha Padan. So from Shas in all forms, not whether it is Ajadi or Haladi, we have two forms, one with the Padadesha and the other 
sorry, this is wrong. This is padaha and padan, not padaha. Pada, padena, padbhyam, padabhyam. So, padbhyam is actually more commonly used than padabhyam. It is still from padashabda which gets padadesha. Similarly, in all forms from pada, from starting from shas, we have two forms. One with the padadesha and one without the padadesha. Padbhyam, padabhyam, padbhihi, padaihi, etc. So, everywhere there is no karya. That is, if you have pad, as, you join except in Saptami Bhavachana, Pad Su it is thite, Kharicha ityane na chartve, Pat Su iti dakarasya sthane, takaraha adesha bhavati, Pat Su, other than that there is no other karya which happens, Pat Su adesha bhave adeshu, iti rupadvayam, ok, any doubts? Oh, sorry, the fifth is, uh, I have not replaced the, that should be Padbhyaha and Padebhyaha, it's not. I copied the table from the previous one and replaced it and forgot to replace it. Any other questions? Okay, we'll stop here. Yena Akshira Samam Naimadi Gamya Maheshwara Kritsnam Vyakaranam Proktan Tasmai Panina Yena Maha Punitrayan Namaskritya Taduk Tihpai Bhavya Cha Vyakarana Siddhanta Kaumu Dihim Virachate What is the difference between Anga and Pratipadika? Ha. Okay, they are both different samyas. Firstly, uh, okay, I mean, whatever you prefer. If you prefer an oral, I can just explain it since I still have five minutes. Huh. Anga and Pratipadika are two uh, different uh, samyas. Anga samya is defined by Asma Pratya Viras Tadari Pratyengam and Pratipadika is defined by Arthavaradhatara Pratya Pratipadikam and Kritadhita Samasascha. One second, please. Now, I mean, for some cases it seems the same. For example, if you uh, have Rama Shabna, Rama is also a Pratipadika and is also an Anga. But an Anga Samya is not only for Subantas. You can have Anga even in Tingantas or in Tadhita, Krit. Wherever you have any suffix, you have that Anga. Okay. And Anga is always defined with respect to the Pratyaya. Pratipadika is an independent Samya. For anything which has, a, which is Arthavata Dhatu of Pratyaya can be a Pratipadika or Akrutati Samasashtra can be a Pratipadika. But you cannot say only Rama is an Anga. Rama is a Pratipadika correct. Bhu is a Dhatu correct. But neither Rama nor Bhu is an uh, Anga by itself. You can only define an Anga with respect to a Pratyaya. When you ap apply a Pratyaya to something, to a Prakriti, which may be Pratipadika, which may be Dhatu, which may be anything. When you apply something, a suffix to some Prakriti, that will be called the Anga. That is the first point. And also, it need not be only that. Anything that comes in between that Prakriti and Pratyaya will also be called the Anga, will also join the Anga. An example, the clearest example is in Tingantas, where you have uh, Bhu as the Dhatu and you add the Pratyaya uh, Mi. So now Bhu is a Dhatu by itself, by Bhuva Daiva Dhatavaha. But it is not an Anga as long as you do not do the Pratyaya. When you add the Mi Pratyaya, Yasmat Pratyaya Vidhi Tadadi Pratyaya So that Prakriti to which you add the Pratyaya will be called Anga. Now Bhu is an Anga. But not just that, when you do, again you do a shap pratyaya. 
okay kartari shabd idhe na when who is followed by me it gets a second suffix called shap or a now it becomes bhu a me this thing which comes in between the prakriti and pratyaya will also join the anga so now that bhu plus a or the bhava will become the anga not bhu okay so bhu is a dhatu and uh, bhava is the anga for me so that is why you can do some karya depending on the anga samya in pratipadika it is difficult to show the difference between anga and pratipadika because there is generally there is nothing which comes in between okay so in pratipadikas that is as long as we are dealing with subantas usually i mean i can't remember any exceptions but usually the pratipadika itself is the anga but when we go to other pratyayas we see the difference if something else is in between that also is called the anga and again that is also important that the anga is with respect to a pratyaya bhava is the anga with respect to me whereas if you are with respect to the shap pratyaya bhu is only the anga that is also a major difference was that better or we need more explanation okay any other questions no okay thank you we'll see on monday